Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you all about the many ways that nettle root can help correct hair loss and promote hair growth. So for those of you who are familiar with our YouTube channel, if you've subscribed to our channel for some time and you've watched our videos, then you've likely heard almost everything I'm going to say in this video scattered throughout many different videos here on the YouTube channel. However, both for the purpose of putting all of this information or that information into one place or one video and also for potential future subscribers, I've decided to make this particular video which will go into depth talking about all of the various mechanisms behind Nettle Root's ability to act as a renowned hair tonic, correct hair loss, and promote the overall health of the hair. So whether you've been subscribed to our YouTube channel for some time or you're a new subscriber, this video should be beneficial for everybody. Maybe somewhere along the lines you've missed a video or you missed a time in an FAQ where we talked about nettle root and these mechanisms I'm gonna dive into in a moment. Or again, you're a new subscriber. The main purpose and benefit of this video is by the end of it, you're gonna learn all the various underlying mechanisms behind nettle root's claim to fame ability to correct hair loss and restore normal and healthy hair function and hair growth. So getting right to it, if you're not familiar with nettle root, the nettle plant overall has been long known to act as a hair tonic, as a variety of different mechanisms in which it can promote the health of the hair and correct some of the underlying or in this case, all of the underlying contributing factors to hair loss that I'm at least aware of, and in this way, be one of the best herbs, if not the best herb for correcting hair loss. However, if you hop online and search nettle root and its benefits, and I think even in the very beginning of Vitaging, about three or four years ago, 500 videos back, we even made this mistake of confusing nettle root's pro hair effects to the contribution of its anti-DHT or anti-androgen effects. So again, if you hop online and you read about nettle root in regards to hair loss and hair growth, you're likely gonna read something that says the way that nettle root helps with hair growth is by inhibiting DHT or dihydrotestosterone and that's how it works. However, this is a major fallacy. We have debunked it a couple of different times throughout our various videos and we dive into depth about the DHT myth in our Forever Healthy Hair course. The fact of the matter is, nettle root's ability to correct hair loss has little or nothing at all to do with DHT. However, nettle root actually has many different ways in which it can help to correct hair loss and potentially start the regenerative process of the hair follicle that have nothing to do with DHT but are a lot more physiologically sound. So starting off with one of the major benefits of nettle root on the growth of the hair for correcting hair loss, and perhaps the one that I've mentioned most frequently is nettle root's anti-aromatase or anti-estrogen effect. So the fact of the matter is that estrogen is a major contributing factor to the pathogenesis of hair loss, all various types of hair loss. In fact, estrogen is involved in about every pathological event that occurs that contributes to hair loss that I'm aware of. So just to name a few things that estrogen can do in regards to inhibiting good hair growth, is first and foremost on a cellular level, it inhibits mitochondrial respiration. Estrogen also opposes good thyroid function, which reduces the production of carbon dioxide, and that reduced production of carbon dioxide is actually going to lead to the accumulation of mast cells in the scalp, which is known to contribute to hair loss and is present in balding scalps. And there are even research studies that have literally called estrogen the master switch for hair loss, so meaning it ultimately turns on all of the pathological events that contribute to hair loss. And if those things weren't bad enough, estrogen stressful effects actually trigger a stress response, increasing the production of two other growth inhibiting hormones, cortisol and prolactin, which again are two hormones that are involved in pathogenesis of hair loss and known to inhibit good hair growth. And on the bright side, nettle root has a powerful anti-aromatase effect meaning that it inhibits the conversion of your androgen hormones into estrogens, which is going to help to regulate estrogen levels in your body. Anti-aromatase herbs like nettle root are some of the most effective ways and simple ways to keep your estrogen levels low. Because a lot of the times what happens in hair loss and other estrogen related issues is that the body is converting its androgens into estrogens through aromatase activity or the aromatase enzyme. 
So nettle root can actually help to keep estrogen levels in check by inhibiting the conversion or the aromatization of those estrogens in the body. And this is going to have a beneficial effect on the hair in all of the ways that we just mentioned. A second major way that nettle root helps to correct hair loss is through its antihistamine effects. So nettle root actually has a powerful anti-allergy effect. Through its ability to inhibit the metabolism of arachidonic acid, it can actually inhibit the release of histamine from mast cells, which would cause an allergy and ultimately inflammatory response. So what does allergies have to do with hair loss? Well, other than tons of research that has shown a pretty strong correlation between people with hair loss and pattern baldness in elevated levels of histamine in allergies, there is a specific way in which histamine itself can contribute to hair loss. And perhaps the most profound way is through histamine's effect on the growth cycle of the hair. It's well known and observed that during the resting or dormant phases of hair growth, where the hair is not growing, that histamine levels are high. Where on the other hand, during the growth phase of the hair, the histamine levels are tightly regulated. So in other words, high histamine levels can induce a more dormant resting phase of the hair follicle, whereas keeping histamine low could activate the growth phase of the hair follicle, which is likely why there's research that has found people very successfully responding to antihistamine drugs in correcting their hair loss in various forms of alopecia. And this is likely another reason that nettle root is so effective for correcting hair loss is through its antihistamine effects. By lowering histamine, not only are you preventing an inflammatory response, but you're also going to be preventing the hair from going into the dormant phase that is induced by high histamine levels. So prostaglandins are hormone-like molecules in your body, and they are largely present during inflammatory and immune responses. And there are studies like this one that have found that a specific type of prostaglandin, known as prostaglandin D2, is accumulated in the scalps of balding men and is a known inhibitor of hair growth. However, if we take a look at studies like this one, it's also well known that nettle root extract can actually inhibit the production of prostaglandins thus having a beneficial effect on hair growth. A fourth and final way that nettle root can help to correct hair loss is by stabilizing mast cells. So if you haven't yet watched this video, I go into depth about the correlation between mast cells and baldness. And I mentioned this study right here that points out the significantly higher levels or counts of mast cells in the balding regions of people with hair loss opposed to those with full heads of hair. So like prostaglandins, mast cells also tend to accumulate and degranulate in the scalps of balding men. And there are many activators of this, like histamine, like prostaglandins, and like estrogen. So it's actually likely through nettle root's antihistamine, antiestrogen, and antiprostaglandin effects that it actually helps to stabilize mast cells. Now mast cells probably contribute to hair loss by causing inflammation or being associated with inflammation. So mast cells, they're white blood cells or immune cells, and they tend to be high when there's an immune response or an inflammatory response. So they often indicate past inflammation. And inflammation leads to hair loss in a very simple way by degrading and damaging the hair follicle. So when the hair follicle experiences chronic inflammation, it's ultimately going to start to become damaged and possibly even die off resulting in hair loss. So there you have it. Those in my understanding and research are probably the dominant ways that nettle root actually helps to correct hair loss and why it's been used for so many thousands of years as a hair tonic. It has nothing to do with DHT. If you want to learn more about the actual roles of DHT and where this whole theory came into the picture of hair loss and why it's simply inaccurate and not based in sound physiological research, then be sure to check out our Forever Healthy Hair course where we debunk that whole myth in detail and talk about what actually causes hair loss so you can start to correct it. If you're trying to solve the wrong problem, you're not going to ever experience results. So a lot of the times people don't see results in their hair loss protocols and regimens because they're trying to solve the wrong problem. If you've been trying to solve high levels of DHT to correct hair loss and you've experienced no benefits, it's because DHT isn't the cause. So again, I dive into detail about that in the Forever Healthy Hair course, so definitely check that out if it's something you've been tackling in the past and struggling with personally. Otherwise, for those of you interested in nettle root and how it actually helps to correct hair loss or whether it does or not, hopefully this video has helped you to see a more clearer 
physiologically sound picture of its true effects on your body and how it actually would act as a very novel hair tonic. So although the mainstream gets the underlying mechanisms wrong about nettle root, the fact of the matter is it's still a wonderful herb for correcting hair loss and should provide you no negative side effects but just additional added benefits like acting as an anti-inflammatory an antihistamine and an anti-estrogen herb. However, that does bring this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video with anybody that might find it helpful or useful. And subscribe to the YouTube channel while you're here if you haven't yet subscribed. And of course, if you're interested in learning more about nettle root or supplementing with a quality nettle root extract, you can find that in our online tonic herb shop in the description box below.